Chapter 33 The Divine Ruler Divine worship is unique in itself in that the mere mention of the name divine is awe-inspiring and brings before the mind's eye a vision of the absolute and the relative, of the unmanifest and the manifest, of knowledge and grace, of Hara and Hari, of Shiva and Shakti, and the culminating inmost knowledge, the Swarupa Yana, born out of unity in diversity. In the background of this unity, the diversities are seen as mere variations, not apart from it. This is the grand truth proclaimed by Hari Hara's son, which he beckons us to realize for our release from the bondage of samsara, of worldly suffering. In the knowledge and grace of this unity is experienced the bliss of pure being. In the knowledge and grace of this unity of Shiva and Shakti is experienced the vision of Skanda, the destroyer of primal ignorance. In the knowledge and grace of this unity of Hari and Hara is experienced this vision of the divine, the bestower of the supreme good. Hari screens himself with his Vishnu Maya and leads his souls towards dynamic activity, not for his own sake, but that the souls may evolve. In the perfection of their evolution, he throws away the veil and also helps the evolved souls to cut asunder the knot of primal ignorance. All doubts are set at rest, and the oneness of the self and Brahman is experienced. Herein is the aspect of divine grace. He teaches, instructs, communicates, and governs the supreme knowledge, establishing the fundamental unity of the individual with the manifested world, and of the manifest and its abidance in the Absolute. He is the essence of Hari Hara unity, and equally so of the one Shiva Shakti. He is formed as Guru Govinda, or Dakshinamurti, Ishwara, Guru and the Self, all in one. This is the interpretation of the Dharma of the Divine in the light of Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharshi's teachings.